All new tonight after watching that Taylor Swift show, some of you may be missing going to live concerts. I know I am, but how soon can we realistically do that? Well, tonight we're looking into how and when events could come back to life. In many ways, Las Vegas is setting the stage for this music rebound. And 13 Action News reporter Austin Carter is live outside of T-Mobile Arena right now, and he's been looking into the future of concerts and live events, Austin. Yeah, and Jackie, T-Mobile Arena here is one of those venues that's been affected by those cancellations. And this is one of those spots where we see some of the most popular concerts here in Vegas. But what will happen once the doors finally reopen? Well, we talked to the folks over at Billboard Music about just that. Las Vegas residencies like Lady Gaga, Kelly Clarkson, and Bruno Mars canceled. Like much of the Strip, popular concert venues, Park MGM, the Coliseum at Caesars Palace, and Planet Hollywood are a ghost town. I think there could be a while before it, you know, it comes back to normal. Billboard's director of live music, Dave Brooks, expects in the future concerts could be at 10 to 15 percent of what their normal capacity would be. And, and that could be kind of enforced by uh, putting, drawing, um, boxes on the floor. The mystery is exactly what new measures will be taken at each venue. Some might be more strict than others. You're really going to see artists like playing at like pretty big venues, you know, and maybe they'll be having no fans in them. A billboard in Nielsen study found fans are eager for live concerts, but have concerns about health and safety. The study found that more than half want hand sanitizer available and prefer outdoor events. Half want social distancing and forced through seating, and 35% want temperature checks. But the adjustment to the new normal may be a bit easier for Vegas. Brooks says the city spearheaded a lot of the innovation in the concert business. I mean, that's where, you know, the, the residency show model started. Brooks also says drive-in concerts could be an option with technology that's already used at the Aerosmith show at Park MGM. There's a company working on that right now called... Um, Mix Halo. The technology allows you to listen to the clear concert audio using your phone. And it's not just residencies adapting, but music festivals too. EDC Las Vegas was set to happen this month, but has been rescheduled for October. The Viva Las Vegas Rockabilly Weekend had to cancel this year. 100 bands from different countries were slated to perform. Tom Ingram promotes the festival and says while virtual concerts could be an option, nothing can compare to the in-person experience. People go to events just as much to meet other people as they do for seeing the entertainment. So you take that away from the event and you have no event. And you know what? Not far from here is the new Allegiant Stadium, the first big concert there. It's set to happen in August and it's with Garth Brooks, but the future of that concert, it's still up in the air. Now, if you were expecting to attend a concert or if it was canceled and postponed, you definitely want to contact that ticket seller to find out how you can get that refund. We're live tonight outside T-Mobile Arena. I'm Austin Carter, 13 Action News. Austin, thank you. Now, both Caesars and MGM say live entertainment will be the last part of their reopening plans. The pandemic also having an impact on major music festivals. Coachella drew almost 100,000 people a day last year, and its country music cousin Stagecoach drew 75,000. Both are postponing their annual events to the fall.